there scientists and welcome to another PS Science at Home video. I'm Miss Oyanoki and ooh, hold on. Let me turn this fan off. It keeps blowing my papers away. Hmm. That's pretty interesting though. I wonder how that fan is moving my papers without touching it. I wonder if it work would work for other things. I have a box of stuff over here I was putting away. Let's see. What if I try this scarf? Will it blow the scarf? Woo! Yep. What about a ball? Will it blow the ball? Yes! What about a ping pong ball? Yep. Anything else? Um, ooh, a feather? Well, it won't blow it from, oh, there it goes. It will definitely blow it if I hold it in the air. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, a toy car. Nope, will not blow the toy car. I wonder why. It's very interesting. Let's try to make a fan that's a little safer to experiment with. No fingers getting caught in these blades. Let's make a paper fan. I've got some paper right here. Um, for this, you could use any fan, any any paper that you have. Could just be regular white paper that you put in a printer. Any color, any size will work. Um, it just will make your fan your fan bigger or smaller. Any thickness, as long as it's not so thick that it won't bend. It needs to be a little bit bendy. Um. Okay, so to fold a paper fan, what you're gonna do is fold an accordion. So that means that you're gonna fold it one way and then flip it over and fold it back the other way. So we fold our paper, oh, there's a little strip of it, flat, I flip it over and I fold flat the other side, flip it back over, flat, flip it back over, back, flat, keep, going one way, then I flip the paper over and do other way, make this way. See how I'm really pressing on it? That's called creasing. We want our, our edges to stay flat. I'm really creasing it down, almost done. And if I have just a little tiny edge, that's okay, I can still fold it. Okay, now, I, now when I unfold it, the thing that opens and closes, that's called an accordion. But we're gonna turn this into a fan. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half. And now when we open it up, it's like a bow tie. It has this crack in the middle. We need to use a little tape. So take a little tape and I'm gonna tape See how I can hold on to these edges here, right there, right there. I'm gonna take some tape and I'm just going to get it off of me. fold the tape over, fold the tape over. Maybe I'll use a second piece just to be really sure. Fold the tape over like that. Okay, now see how my my fan is staying together. Now I've got a fan, I can stretch it out a little bit, make it a little wider, and now I've got a hand fan that I can use for the same experiment that I was using this fan for. So let's try to blow some things. I've got a piece of paper here, let's try this. Can I blow the paper? I can, it's scooting away from me. Come back. Try again. Okay, it's kind of scooting away. That's interesting. I what would happen if I crumbled it up. Oh. It's really hard to push, but it's going. You see it? It's going. It's going. Okay. Um, what about some other things? Let's try the ping pong ball. Can I blow that? Oh, it's already moving. Let's see. Oh, gone. Let's try that again. There it goes. Can I move? Let's try the feather. Can I move the feather? Here's the feather. Oh yeah, the feather moves really easily. 
and we have a car. The big fan couldn't do the car. Let's see if our paper fan can. Nope, still can't do the car. If you make this at home, maybe go and try some things around your house and see what you can blow and what you can't. So I wonder how this works. Seems like, put your hand in front of the fan, I can feel the air moving. When you push the fan, it creates something called a force. The force of the fan moving moves the air molecules, which then moves the things in its path. They apply their own force. A force is two things. It's a push and a pull. Pushes move things away. Pulls bring things toward you. Go around your object, go around your house, sorry, and see what objects you can push and pull with your fan. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.